In today's episode, we are diving in our second ever invasive tournament. Tons of action. Can't wait to share the rest of this episode with you. So stay tuned. You sleep. Let me see you sleep. sleep. There you go. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Your license plate, everything. We have a lot of new faces this year, so welcome. Thanks for supporting our cause. Raise, by the raise of hands, how many of you guys are diving this event for the very first time? Oh, wow. wow. We, we definitely want to welcome you guys. We appreciate you guys. All of these vessels are safety and good conditions and. Uh, be favorable to everyone out here that are going out to gather some invasive fish. Father, please keep us safe and please allow us to look after our partners as we are entering the waters. Please allow us to come back and uh, share wonderful memories and fun experiences. And please bless that. Just finished the check in. Oh, yeah, Gotta go drive to the spot right now. Aloha guys, welcome back to another episode of Fisher Dive Hawaii. My name is Justin. We are diving in the RGM6 Invasive Tournament today, hosted by the Ko'olau Dive Club out in Kuhuku. So, um, we're gonna jump in the water, shoot some invasive, see how much we can get, see if we can, we can win something. Biggest invasive, smallest invasive, most invasives, most trash, bunch of categories, a lot of fun. Really family oriented event. Um, before we jump in the water, I wanna talk to you guys about today's sponsor, which is Pelican coolers, as you guys can see, I have it right here. And my buoy, you guys can see that all right here. And then I've also got the R40 rut keys right inside. So go check them out. All links will be in the description and let's go jump in. Alright people, welcome back to another spearfishing episode here on the channel. I can't wait to share the rest of it with you because there's tons of action in this invasive tournament. Roy Goy Moy 6, the 6th annual event put on by the Ko'olau Dive Club. My first time diving in it. Roy meaning the peacock grouper, Moy meaning sleep in Hawaiian. So pretty much put as much Roy to sleep as you can, meaning just take them off the reef and uh, as well as tuaos, taapes, they've got different categories like trash. You can see me and Kamana trying to pull this big old water heater off of the sea floor and it was impossible. You're gonna have to tie a rope to it and tow it from shore or something. That's the only way you're gonna get this thing off of the reef. But tons of fun, really small family oriented event, but they had so many prizes and yeah, I can't wait to share the rest of this episode with you. So today's weapon of choice is this Pathos 90 centimeter. Just rocking the one band because the other band broke pretty much. So um, got to get it replaced. And this band is super weak as well. But it's perfect for hunting invasive fish because they all they're not the most difficult to fish to catch, um, but they are pretty sneaky. And we'll be going over some tips that you guys can use to help you catch invasives as well. As well. This is a Roy right here. You guys can see um, I missed that shot. And on this episode, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm, I'm transitioning between different filters to see if you guys like it better because I know sometimes with the green film, like you're seeing right now, it can be a little bit more difficult to see. So I've been using some contrasting and some different methods to try to make it better for you guys to see what's going on underwater. So please let me know how that looks. So total, I brought three weapons, a three prong pole spear, the 120 centimeter gun and the 90 centimeter pathos. It's always good to clip the weapons that you're not using on the buoy. Although sometimes I bring my three prong with me. It just gets out of the way. One less thing to worry about so I can just focus on catching fish. 
and if you guys would like me to do a video or just to go over how exactly you put those clips on your buoy then please comment that down below and then I'll do a video and go over that in the future. So this is a shot on a toa, one of the three invasive species, the blacktail snapper. This one's a little more common than the roy and the taape, and they can be pretty smart, but a lot of younger ones here at this spot, so I don't think they've seen much humans um, braining this one, so we're on the board. Anytime you're hunting to'ao or ta'ape, you want to look for these little shelf areas where the fish can easily go and hunt, un hide underneath these little crevices and stuff. So these fish like to hang out in between like you see right here. I'm going to shoot one and we've got another one on the board. So this area right here that I'm diving is just small little flat reef, not even 10 feet deep. But they've got a lot of these crevices, like I mentioned, in this spot right here. I was housing a lot of toals that were hidden in this little cave area. So it's kind of hard to see, especially when it's bright outside. But you kind of just got to take a shot and just hope for the best. And no, I was not aiming for those, those um, little reef fish. <laughs> And anytime you guys are hunting reef fish, you always want to try to get a good shot. This one right here, I was aiming at one fish and got distracted with another swimming on the right side. So I shot the second one, but it wasn't a good shot at all. The fish ended up twirling and ripping off anyway. So yeah, just make sure you guys get good shots on your guys' fish. But be careful because even though you may think you got a good shot, sometimes you will completely miss. As you will see in just a second, I was in this little crevice area, seen a toile hiding in this little cave. So I try to line up a shot. I try to lead it, meaning shooting in front of it to where the fish, or I think the fish is going. And you'll see right here, as I thought I was leading the fish, it actually turned at the last second and I missed. Another important thing is to know the range of your gun. This one I'm only rocking one band so it's not as powerful as it would be obviously with two bands or fresh bands. So you guys will see in just a second that I completely missed. I thought I had the shot perfect and you'll look right here. I did have it pretty much perfect but the shaft will go right under the fish and I missed. So had I had two bands I probably would have landed that shot. Nice little hole new right here, turtle green sea turtle now from here on forward except for a couple little clips we are hunting primarily Roy this is a different part of a reef kind of like near a drop-off and that's where you'll see a lot of Roy right here in front of me there's two lined up and unfortunately it's really hard to line up a double shot on Roy, so I was only able to land one over here. And here's a quick tip to distinguish Roy from other reef fish. So I have a bunch of reef fish out in front of me. And you'll see the Roy is just this sticking out like a sore thumb in the middle of the frame. They're usually hanging out to like a little elevated area of the reef like you guys seen near a hole where they can run and hide if they have to. But they'll be floating like ghosts and you can tell right away that just they just don't belong on the reef. So 9 times out of 10 it's a Roy. 
mostly purplish, dark purplish fish with a bunch of spots. Beautiful looking fish. And sometimes they have white stripes. So yeah, if you guys see that, please take them out. Another thing with Roy is that if you ever are trying to bring the fish or put the kui through, their teeth go inwards, they're not sharp, but because they go inwards, your glove might get stuck inside of the mouth. So all you gotta do is just move your hand in the opposite direction and then you can just take your finger out right there and then. I've had that couple happen to me at least a few times. So if that happens to you, then you know what to do. Right here is a diving technique that I don't think I've talked about yet on this channel. So you guys see I pointed at the Roy and I swam in the opposite direction. So I'm not taking a direct drop right at the fish. I'm swimming opposite of the way the fish is and then I'm swimming diagonally towards the fish and it'll get me to take the shot but it doesn't guarantee that I'll land the fish. This structure right here is a perfect example of like a Roy house where they like to hide. You see, after I took the shot, it went directly inside of that reef structure. So anytime you see something like that, just take a drop. It's probably a Roy hanging out somewhere around there. The next 40 seconds or so, there'll be no commentary, so just enjoy. Finally, we come across some ta'ape. This would complete kind of like my personal challenge. I call it the invasive triple crown ta'ape to all. And Roy, you guys can see the ta'ape going in this little hole. Take a shot and I miss. For some reason, I have a hard time catching ta'ape. Sometimes I'll dive into like a little cave, a little hole area, and I'll run into a bunch of them. But other times, like this, I'll just keep missing and it could be because I didn't have any two bands right here I'll take the shot and I miss it probably a little bit of a far shot for having just one weak band but oh wells So that little fish right there was an alaihi. It's a Hawaiian squirrel fish endemic to Hawaii. They hide in caves like this, got really sharp spines, but 
yeah today is an invasive only day so hands off all the other fish I made it directed at Toal's, Toapes and Roy's just trying to catch those fish so spare that fish life fish is life but I know where to come back to catch some Alright guys, so we gotta be back there by 1 o'clock. We gotta be in line with our stuff at 1 p.m. And right now it's saying that we're gonna get there at like 12.57, so... Oh, man. Pushing it. Pushing it. Woo! 12.56. It's the time we're supposed to get there. It's 12.54 now. We're gonna turn left soon, dude. Feeling. Tired already, pushing it. <laughs> we got it by the seconds. Yeah, by the, literally by the seconds. Got two coolers, two coolers to bring in. One of all the trash and one of the fish. Man. That pipe was at 50 pounds, yeah? All right, our check in is officially closed. How about a big hand for all of our after you drink it all? The Hawaii Electric Company donated those water bottles. We appreciate that. Party Fine Arts, a party restaurant. We're all over. Your car. You gotta pick one. Oh. Pick which one, you can't know where. Oh. Which one? Oh. 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 Oh.
All right, guys, thank you for watching this episode. We actually finished in like third place in all the categories except the lead, uh, but we got like 50 pounds of trash, 12 total invasives. Smallest fish we got was like 0.22 pounds, and the biggest one was what? Two point something? Yeah. Yeah, so a lot of fun. Um, super well organized tournament by Oren and all the guys at uh, Koalau Dive Club. So if you guys are on Oahu, make sure to check them out and join next year because I'm gonna, this is gonna be a yearly thing for me and my partner Kaimana. We had a lot of fun and we have dove in other tournaments too, but this one was just really solid. A lot of good prizes and a lot of good stuff for beginners as well. So um, he actually won a bunch of stuff with the raffles. <laughs> he got this brand new dive bag. Um, board shorts two uh, three prong heads right here the tips an actual uh three prong what is that the lance o'hara one yeah. some carbon fiber fins and he spent what like a little over 100 bucks for all this stuff but this is easily over 300 dollars worth of gear that he got so so if you guys want to join the tournament make sure to check them out call out dive club and i'll see you guys in the next episode shoots mahalo see you later bye bye a couple bar beers and some lobbies for the grill I wanna go back but I probably never will Because my brother Chav he will show me this place And if you post a pic he going insta on my face Chav is pretty nuts bro I don't like scrap And he's doing crossfit so he's all tap So I no like expose, no like expose I no like tell you cause Bombay you don't go It's the best spot that I ever did find But if I tell you gonna get